Hey, Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. Are you thinking about putting down a loose lay vapor barrier in your crawl space? It may not be as effective as what you think. Stay tuned. If you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to waterproofing, indoor air quality, high humidity, mold, and different things like that. So I hope you'll subscribe to our channel and ring that notifications bell. There are many Crawl Space contractors out there that refuse to encapsulate crawl spaces properly, and they just throw down a loose lay vapor barrier. Now, just so you all know, Code requires a vented crawl space to have a vapor barrier. What code does not require in a vented crawl space is for that vapor barrier to be overlapped and or taped or attached to the foundation wall. So if you have a vented or open crawl space, it's okay to throw down a loose lay vapor barrier. Now that being said, it's not very effective. Imagine that you have vapor barrier, and I'm gonna show you some pictures here of some different vapor barrier installations. You put down a, a piece of plastic and they don't overlap and tape the plastic. They just butt up the edges of the plastic and then the first knee that hits that plastic makes a gap to where all of that ground is exposed and the moisture comes up out of the ground into the crawl space. The word is vapor barrier, but vapor retarder is probably a better way to describe it. What plastic is designed to do is to keep the moisture from evaporating quickly out of the ground so that it doesn't get absorbed by your wood and cause mold problems in the future. The problem is, is that if you just pay somebody to put down a loose lay vapor barrier, say that six mil black or clear stuff that you buy at Home Depot or Lowe's, eventually it gets shifted around over time and exposes the earth to where it gives off more moisture in your crawl space. And if your crawl space is vented, then you're also getting moisture from the outside. So you have humidity coming in from two different sources and that's creating a high humidity problem and a mold problem in your crawl space. This is why we don't recommend loose lay vapor barrier, whether the crawl space is vented or not. I don't understand why code says it's okay to put loose lay vapor barrier in a vented crawl space, but as soon as you seal up the crawl space, you're supposed to overlap and tape and mechanically attach to the foundation wall. What has changed inside the crawl space to require the code to change? Nothing really. You still want the vapor barrier to control humidity in the crawl space to create a vapor retarder. My point is, is that if you're going to pay someone to install vapor barrier or vapor retarder in your crawl space, why not do it right? Why not overlap and tape the plastic so that it keeps the plastic from shifting and moving, whether you take on standing water or whether that HVAC tech or that plumber goes in there and starts you know, doing work down there and they're crawling around and shifting that plastic. Why not just do it right? Why not have it overlapped and a seam seal applied so that the vapor barrier won't move, have it mechanically attached to the wall. You don't have to go all the way up the wall if you don't want to, but we do because that way it controls the moisture coming through the center blocks as well. So we got a lot of contractors out there that try to beat us up on price by installing an inferior vapor barrier. So if you're looking at Crawl Space Ninja and you're looking at one of our competitors, ask them how they're installing their vapor barrier and how we install ours, and I think you'll see a big difference. My name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day, and we'll see you later.